P, what you got? What you got? Since you laced him, what you got for yourself? So, <laughs> so you guys already hit two of my top, so I'm going to skip those two. So Batman is in one of my top, and the Star Wars P is one of my top. So I'm, I'm going to skip those two. Uh, but I'm going to bring up another fighting game. The Boy. Def Jam fighting game series. Hey, hey, hold up. Hey, man, look. Hey, bro, listen, bro. I want to hug you right now, man. I really want to <laughs> hug you right now. Like, no one understood how nice that game was. Like, right? Like, the, the, the mechanics of the, the game. Was... Yes. Yes. The, yeah. The first one was was good. It was really good. I, I think the storyline was, eh, okay. Like, here's a bunch of rappers. They, they're in a fight club for whatever reason. Yeah. <laughs> But the, the mechanics of it, the animations, the, the, the art style was amazing. Then yes. they went into Fight for New York, and they just upped everything. The creative character. Because yes. the first one, you had to pick from, like, four generic characters. Yep. And then they gave you a creative character. And the creative character was so well put together. And then then you got your fighting style, and then you picked a second fighting style, and you could, like, merge, and, like, you train. And then just the way they brought the rappers in, they brought every, everyone's different personalities in. And it just, everything that everything they added to it was so good. And then Snoop, Snoop plays such a good fucking villain. Like with that <laughs> fucking hat. And just like, he looked like a vampire walking out and shit. And like some kind of vampire pimp. And it was just... Vampire pimp. It was just so... It, it's just, everything about that game was great. And then even when I took it to the PS3 and that third Dev Jam game that was just called Dev Jam, yeah. that one, it, it went away from the original games, but it brought its own unique style to the point where the, 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 like whoever the character you're using had a signature track. And as your momentum, as you were winning, your track started playing in the background. And if your track was playing, you did more damage. And if you did combos to the beat, you did more damage. And then, like, if you were losing and you were able to get a, a minute, you could you could do that uh, DJ third table scratch and swap to your song and try to make a comeback. So, I mean, it, it was just, like, everything. Like, I just love everything they put in that game. And there's a rumor that they're doing another one. I, no, I think that's I think that's fact, bro. <laughs> you, know, you know one of my favorite parts about that game is a Wu-Tang song that got released that ain't nowhere else but on that fucking game. And back when LimeWire was out, I was able to rip it and get a copy of that shit. It's a Wu song that go. Whoa, goes. whoa, 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 whoa. Which, you know what I'm talking about? Are you ready? Strapped yeah. in your seat. Sun, 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 sun. And you got actually kills it on that shit. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. This Bruh. is funny. This yes, because you know how I feel. You know how I feel. <laughs> hey, listen. You guys haven't heard the song? No, but relax. Uh, bro, uh, bro. Yeah. Hey, uh, let, me, let, me, let me translate for Pete real quick. Um, it's not an exclusive song. It's on you guys' album. Just no one's ever heard you guys' album except for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so <laughs> I've heard the song. I know the song. As soon as you said it, I said, I know what that is. That's Golden Arms. But I know he hasn't seen or, or listened to Golden Arms because he fucking hates you guys. I can't stand you guys, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, but he, you know. <laughs> oh man, that's so okay. Hey, so really quick, well, while I'm subject of Wu Tang, one of my um, one of my honorable mentions, it's not a franchise, but that Wu Tang fighting game that came out for the PS One. Well, I uh, have yeah. it. Yeah, dude, uh, yeah. it's still like the 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 storyline is cheesy as fuck. It's it's the Wu Tang's Sifu who trained them in martial arts all these years. He was basically Splinter, and they were the ninja girls, <laughs> yes. kidnapped and taken to China. <laughs> and they got to fight their way from, <laughs> from New York to China. But gameplay-wise, the way that the arena combat, because you can play four fighters on one. Exactly. It was a 3D four-player arena. Yep. And then, yeah. and then, like, the way they did the fatalities were, depending on, like, you had to unlock the other fatalities, but depending yep. on how, whatever, whatever hit, so if you did a high punch, at, that was to, uh, you killed them, it would do a different animation for each different, like, the, whatever the last hit was. Yep. And then each character's fighting style was so different. Like, like, oh, Dirty Bastard has the drunken style, and he would do that freaking stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And, and the Inspector Deck had the fingers. He was... Hey, and like, and... Master Killer was the nicest dude on that, on that game, though. And he had the best yeah. mentalities. The shittiest dude, Mu Tang, 
had the best fucking player in that game. <laughs> but uh, but didn't that no, one have ahead. an exclusive song? Yeah, no, there was that one song that played. Yeah, maybe yeah, that's the, the one the, I'm talking about. That might have been what I'm talking about. You guys' track was on there, and there were two other like at that point they wore exclusive tracks. Um, the yeah. story behind that game is there was a game called Thrill Kill. Thrill Kill. That, right. That was four-player Mortal Kombat 3D. If, if Power Stone mm-hmm. and Mortal Kombat came together on a shitty budget, that's what Thrill Kill was. Yep. And they couldn't get the game cleared, so the company went to Wu and said, listen, how do you feel about this? And yep. sure enough, that's how we got here and we talk about it. Because the game was legit. It was it was four players. Yeah, it was woo. Like I we I was in. We was in. We get down on that all the yep. day. So you know, you know why Thrill Kill was why why Thrill Kill was shut down though? Why they were like nope after I like, with all the violence and everything? I I don't and remember. Most I thought it was of the budget, but... now most of the characters were BDSM style characters. Yes, it was all it was like it had super sexual overtones. They didn't care about the violence, but it was super sexual. Everything was like super sexual and like all kinds of like whips and chains and yeah. And, right. and, and so, I mean, even, um, even to the point, um, who had the microphone with the whip? Was that Jizza? Was that Jizza? I think it was Jizza. The it was uh, Jizza or Jizza, one of the two. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been a while. I don't remember. But you know, yeah, you know what I'm about. But so that, that one, it was initially a dominatrix character that had the whip. And they yes. just sw- swapped the skin, and then, then we, got and the, we got Wu-Tang. I didn't buy the game because we was burning games. That, we had the oven. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we was so you had to hold yeah. the PlayStation open and switch, switch this real quick. Yeah, and then you heard it go. <laughs> when it made that. <laughs> yeah. We, we had to upgrade the chips, bro. We had to. We had to. Uh, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, but uh, I like how you snuck in too, right there. That's that's real smooth, Pete. The real press start. We know where you at, bro. Long freeway, long <laughs> freeway. 